My name is Francesco Bortoluzzi and I'm the project coordinator for academic relations at Swiss Next Boston. Today we are here in the beautiful Boston seaport at District Hall, the open innovation platform, to set up for our event, Aerial Futures, the Drone Frontier at Hub Week. We've been putting up a net, it's been all hands on deck with the Swiss Next team. We are bringing over more than 40 organizations from Switzerland and North America. We really would like to thank our sponsors, uh, Swiss Touch, District Hall, Hub Week. And yeah, we really look forward to the connections and discussions that we're gonna have in the next couple of days. So drones are, are one of these subjects where um, five years ago nobody would have thought that they would be so important, but they are slowly coming into so many different fields, so many different topics, so many areas, so many different uses that we thought it's an important subject to look at. Also because it not only serves a, a wide a, a range of purposes, but it also raises lots of interesting questions. You know, the Boston ecosystem is a really brilliant technology ecosystem right now. We like to address a lot of really tough tech problems. And I think partnering with other countries around the world, which are also interested in innovation, is the only way we're going to get better. And so having Swissnext here pushing us, pushing each other to get better and to think bigger, the beauty in that is that we push each other to solve bigger problems. What's the biggest tech we can solve together? Events like this allow entrepreneurs to really network and talk about their ideas and collaborate in the future. A lot of us operate in what seems like a small bubble because we know our industries, but it's hard to see what's going on in the drone space outside of those. So these events really bring those together and allow us to see what's the value added service that we could offer each other in our, in our portfolio to our customers and it's very useful. So I love coming to these things. Well, it's a fantastic opportunity to see so many uh, startups so many uh, research groups representing both Switzerland and the US. So just come here and see uh, the technology yourself because this is the future that uh, we will be witnessing in, in the next few years. So we have demonstrated our work a lot, but mostly to simply people who are curious and enthusiastic about science and research. And uh, here it's a great opportunity for us to work with these people to get their feedback. Sometimes it's harsh feedback, but we like it. That's how we get better. The diversity that we heard tonight was really remarkable. We heard about biology tonight. We heard about city planning. We heard about construction technology and apple orchards. And you could say we heard about drones, but in reality, what we heard about was seven different global problems that we're all trying to fix where this application of drones is making some really interesting headway for us. So I love the name Aerial Futures in part because I'm excited by my next step leaving this event. I've met all sorts of people from educators to technologists and scientists. No doubt about it, for me, the, the event has been a win-win. Well, such an event, of course, cannot happen out of isolation, and it works really with a number of partners and supporters, and one of the big one, or the biggest one, is actually Swiss Touch. That's a campaign in the, in the US that tries to create important conversations mostly around a physical object that is actually made for conversations, which is a table. Of course, people look at the demos, but then from time to time they come around the table and they look at, at the material and that's where the conversation happens. And so we're very happy about that symbol as well. The Drone Frontier finally landed in Boston after we took off a couple of days ago for our exploration. It's been really a wonderful time exploring in a very thoughtful and meaningful way all the conversations in different areas of drone technology and applications. We really thank all of our sponsors and partners that have come from Switzerland and other parts of the United States, not just the Boston area. And we look forward to following up and knowing what's going on in a few months and keep pushing the drone frontier forward. <laughs>